which while the former president and 18 of his allies all face multiple charges in that indictment, the most serious count is the only one they all share, violation of the Georgia Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, or RICO. Fox 5 Tyler Finger takes a look at the seriousness of that charge. Let's go to him to continue our team coverage from downtown Atlanta, Tyler. Yeah, Christine, good afternoon to you. Georgia's RICO Act is traditionally used against mob bosses and gang leaders, but former President Donald Trump and his 18 allies are neither of those. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis is using the charge because she alleges those indicted were part of a vast conspiracy to overturn the 2020 election here in Georgia. For the fourth time this year, former President Donald Trump is now caught in the crosshairs of yet another criminal case. In the sweeping new Fulton County indictment, the former president, along with 18 others, were charged with a number of crimes, including violating Georgia's RICO Act. Anytime you see an indictment that has a RICO allegation, that's going to get people's attention. The indictment spans 98 pages, with 58 of those focusing on the single count of violating the RICO Act. It lays out more than 160 acts where former President and Trump and co-conspirators are accused of working to overturn election results. The RICO statute in Georgia is a prosecutor's best friend. It gives prosecutors so many tools that they ordinarily wouldn't have. You can bring in hearsay evidence made by your alleged co-conspirators. You have a longer statute of limitations. Each of the acts alleged in the RICO count may not be criminal on their own, but Tom Church, a Georgia trial attorney who has worked on several RICO cases, says they can be used as a basis in a RICO prosecution if those acts were done to further a criminal purpose. You are prosecuting different individuals for separate crimes, but you're tying them all into this one big conspiracy, which again here is overturning the election results. RICO cases are complex and take time because of the amount of people charged. The YSL and Young Thug RICO trial has been underway since January, but so far not one juror has been chosen. The Atlanta public school cheating scandal is another RICO case that took more than seven months to finish. He was born to bring this indictment. I mean, Racketeering and Fonnie Willis is like peanut butter and jelly. You know, she, she has a reputation for being an aggressive prosecutor. Willis wants a trial to start within the next six months, but Church says that's unlikely. He expects it to be about a year from now, and former President Trump has called this indictment a witch hunt. We're live downtown tonight. Tyler Fingert, Fox 5 News. Certainly a very involved case. Uh, we will be watching it every step of the way. Tyler, thanks so much. This is a developing story, so stay with Fox 5 on air and online as we continue to learn more. And be sure to download the Fox 5 Atlanta app for all the latest breaking news alerts and updates right to your cell phone. It's free to download in your app store.